All right, welcome to It's Too Early for This Shit, because it's too early for this shit. I'm just trying to figure out some things. And y'all know this has always been a messy show, so don't come on here with no real show expectations, okay? We do what the fuck we do, period, the end. So that said, I got some people joining me in and out of the feed this morning, but I just want to check in. I'm going to let some people get in the room. See what's going on. I don't know where little Timmy is. I gotta always find this little nigga. I don't know where he is this morning, but what I know for sure is he's probably not arresting anybody wherever he is. He's not. He's not that kind of police officer. Never was. He always been a punk ass police, and I don't think he's gonna be any different now. Hey, Bree. Good morning. Welcome. I haven't seen you in a minute. I missed you. Let me get my little sign up here. Good morning, Bree. How you doing, darling? It's too early for this shit. What's been going on? Check in. Corona check in. That's what we doing. Corona check in. How y'all making out out in these Corona streets? Oh my God, my care. What's going on, boy? Where you been? I ain't seen you in forever. How's everything? I wish y'all could talk back because when I say shit like that, I be really wanting to know. Out here dealing with these passengers. Passengers? What kind of passengers you dealing with out in these Corona streets, honey? That's not cute. What kind of passengers, my kid? I'm happy to hear everything's well, Bree. That's good. That's good to know. Oh, okay. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I still have your bag, Bree. You need to come and get that, but not now. Post Corona. Post Corona. Not receiving anybody out during these Corona times. Nothing personal. Oh, good, Mark here. How's how's everything with the fam? I know you don't know, so <laughs> I was just asking just for kicks. You say God is good all the time. Hallelujah, holla back. Bree, she said, invite us in. Bree, I'll invite you in, but you got to be on your best behavior. Mar- Monroe, can you send Bree the link to her inbox and we will invite Bree in? Yes, I'm good. I'm staying safe and I'm keeping my social distance. I don't know what happened. I lost Monroe. I was great to bring her in, but uh, she dropped off. So we'll have to figure that out. Good, Mark here. You do the same. I don't know what kind of what kind of passengers are you dealing with? You driving a bus or something? I don't know what I do, but if it is, you better just take their food to them. Chris, good morning. Oh, so you finally got the link downloaded. Sugar Rosenblum, where the hell are you? Are you still living in the Caribbean, girl? I haven't seen you in forever. Would love to check in with you. Hi. Chris, you you coming in? Let me send you a link. You got to get a new link for today. Uh, Monroe, you see Chris Fox Clanton on the feed? Let me. We got to send him. I got to send you a new link, Chris. I want to check in with you. Chris was the Bama. Ain't you the one? Did you kill? Uh, well, he killed um, Trey Cheney's character in The Wire. He he didn't even die though. He shot him. He was one of them niggas. Walk up to you. He out there minding his own business. You gonna kill him for what? Just cause they wrote it? Mm-mm. Claire said, good morning, Miss Cigar. I do smoke a sexy cigar, don't I? I was cute or whatever. That's all I'm saying. Sugar, hold on. Let me see if I can get this link to you. I'm gonna get to you. This is what my assistant is supposed to help me with. So we trying to navigate this shit. And yesterday we lost the sound. I'm going to bring her in so I can talk shit to her while I try and get um, Chris. What's up, sister? Hey, what's going on, girl? Can you hear me? Yeah. How you doing out in these Corona streets? Girl, I'm hanging on trying not to catch the Corona, the Heineken, the Mellow Light, the Genuine Draft, the Blue Moon, honey, the Yingling. I'm not trying to catch the Boone's Farm. I'm not trying to catch the Corona. No, 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 you are a horrible drug bitch. Yes, I don't want to catch nothing out here. The universe, the world don't need that no more. 
I my... sent it to the people, honey. I sent it to Bray. Hey, Bray, I miss you your Bray. craziness. You yeah, sent I sent it to Bray. I sent it to Chris. I sent it to Chris, child. Oh, okay, Chris. Oh, you rock, girl. That's why I fucks with I you. Sent... It's yeah. handle. Right on top of that, Rose. Hey, my favorite thing. <laughs> my favorite thing ever. So if Chris ever pops up, we, we got Tony Woods coming in. Um, Timmy. Oh, okay, it says Chris is ready, but I don't see him. All right, Chris. All right, let's take you here. I'm going to take you out so I can talk All right. to you. Hey, Chris. What's up, dude? How hey. you doing, baby? Fox Clinton, y'all. <laughs> what was the dude you shot in the wire? Uh, no, I played Savino. Um, in the first season, I was responsible for killing Omar's boyfriend. And then in the last season, Omar killed him. Oh, okay. And I'm the last season you shot, what's his name? Trey, no, right? no, no, the last season, Omar killed me. Oh, okay. He killed my character. I'm the one that got Kima and um, the, the, the lesbian cop shot in the first season. Oh, that was you. Yeah. I didn't know that. If I How had you known been, Nikki? What's up, Chris? What's going on? What are you still in Baltimore? Yeah, uh, Nikki, I just came home. <laughs> in? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Nikki, Nikki I was all over the news. Chris, didn't you? Nikki, I was all over the news. You don't remember me being on the news back in September? Dude, I don't even watch the news because the shit is all lies. I know whatever it is, you ain't do it, nigga. Did no, you they, do it? No, nah, they said I escaped. They said I escaped police custody. And I was what? on the run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what was you doing? And thank you, Marquette. He said weight loss looks good on me. <laughs> it does. Oh, it does. And take that stuff. So what were you doing in police custody? All right. So I had a little a minor situation. Um it was kind of like a um I'm not gonna say it wasn't domestic, but it was between myself and my son's grandfather. Oh, because so, you always did have problems with the bitches. Yeah, no, 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 no. With bonnets on their head, I'm like, no. <laughs> well, I mean, we no. won, but ain't none of us trying to get shot out in these LA streets. No, no, no. It was. She might be in a gang or something. She was gang. Club <laughs> <laughs> like Chris. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> She was serious about it. She had her motherfucking robe. Yes, she, did. she had her body on. I was like, okay. Nikki, but forget about that. <laughs> that was so long ago. <laughs> Tell me what happened. All right, so I had a, a situation uh, with my son's grandfather. And um, police was called. I ended up getting arrested. But prior to me getting arrested, I was rushed to the hospital. I'm epileptic. So during the altercation between me and him, I had a seizure. So I was sent to the hospital. So when I got to the hospital, two days later, I finally come to and I see a police officer in, <laughs> in the bedroom. So I'm thinking, I really don't know what to think because I'm a little lethargic a little bit. I'm just like really coming to. And um, I got up and walked out. So you and didn't know. The you didn't know I didn't you arrest i was i didn't know i was under arrest yet until that evening what when, shit? i mean i but the way they ran it on the news had they talked to you i don't like, remember i do not remember but I, 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 that you weren't like your whole yeah. self yeah yeah like um i mean i didn't get a chance to talk to him after the fact because the news ran it for like three or four days straight, and the way they ran—if you Google, Google my name—it's it, it, all, it's I'm everywhere. Gonna, I'm gonna look into it. It's I'm everywhere. Gonna, see if you can find the story and send it. I'm gonna look into it's, it. It's everywhere. So, okay. um, um, yeah. So I wind up turning myself in. I, I probably, I'm gonna say, I stayed on the run for for maybe like a week. Wait. So on the run, were you like on the? Second floor of the hospital, nigga. Where where did you run? I, I, le I left the hospital. Com I left completely. Went I went home. I went so home. You to run at home. At my okay. own home. Yep. That goes to show you that the shit Timmy said about the Baltimore Police Department is true. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. They to check your house. They never came to my home. 
um, in every address that that's been listed as far as like identification is concerned or anything, they never went to any address. Hilarious. But yet the news was Jeez. the news ran it. They yeah. ran it for at least like three or four days. Shut up. It it made national. It made national. It went CNN, MSNBC, BET. It, it like it went national. So and, Pam said, what's his name? His name is Chris Fox Clanton. I don't know why his name. Let me show his name on here so y'all know who y'all talking to. Chris Fox Clanton. So that's him. And Google Chris Fox Clanton escapes Baltimore police custody. <laughs> I ain't laughing. It's funny, not funny. So, no, it's funny now. It's uh, funny now. It is. It's funny now. Like it's. So when did they come and get you? So they never came and got me. I actually, I got, I got my lawyer. And turned yourself in. And turned myself in. Yeah. Oh, we didn't want another. What's the boy but, back of the paddy wagon? We didn't want another one of them. But oh, Freddie Gray. Yeah. But see, the thing about it is, if I would have known. That they were going to hold me for damn near six months. Whoa. Well, Chris. I would have made them work for that money. Tell you something. Now, all, all bullshit aside. I would have made them work for that money. Hey, Brian Garner. <laughs> hey, Will. That is typical of the criminal justice system in America. You know, I know we talk a lot of shit and we, we you know, talk about a bunch of things. But that is typical. They, um, thank God weed is real. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> this nigga is just getting ready to blaze. I love it. Go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> I got to medicate, baby. Do your thing, man. You know, you got them seizures and shit to control. So. <laughs> you ain't shit. You walk out on another <laughs> lap. So you just go ahead and smoke that whole thing. Get that shit together. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I'm not. You know, I always find a reason to take any opportunity to have your pain because your pain has been hilarious. And yes, you've been with me since I've known you, and I thank you for that. <laughs> I love you, Nick. I love you too. So, wait, they held you for six months? Held me for six months. Without trial? Wait. No, um, okay. So there's a process. There's a, uh, there's a process when you get arrested. You have your preliminary, you have the arraignment. And then you have your, you start your trial. Mm. Well, in Baltimore, what they're doing now is you don't go to your preliminary anymore. Wow. Um, so, so basically they're violating your, your, your constitutional rights mm. in the, in the, uh, the court system. Um, you're, you're entitled to a preliminary hearing. You're entitled to your arraignment. Mm -hmm. Now they're not taking you to any of those. So yeah. I literally, I literally, they, they'll set the court date though. They'll set it. They'll set the court date. Without you. And, and the morning, the morning that the, the um, transportation correctional officers are supposed to come and pick you up, mm -hmm. they don't pick you up. And then when you ask about it, they say, oh, it's been postponed. So the, the, they still have the process, just not the due process. It's just like the process now. Absolutely. So you, crap you, you may or may not get the court. Right. Right, right, right. So from I went in the the first time I went to court was October twenty second. The second time I uh, actually made it into a courtroom was February twelfth. February twelfth. So it was it, it was it, and it was. I, I mean, I've been arrested before. I have a record, but at at the age that I am now, going into there, what's your age? I'm thirty five. Damn. So, yeah. yeah. So to go in there now, and I'm in there with kids my 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 oldest daughter's age. Mm. It's Look. a it's a yeah. It's uh, it ain't oh. it ain't nowhere for somebody to want to go. That's for damn sure. Well, I don't think it's a good place at any age, but right. um, I I do know that uh, I'm glad you got out, and so. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You spent the six months, you went to court, and they said uh, not guilty and let you go home? No, actually, uh, what happened was I winded up getting sick over there. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got sick while I was locked up. Um, I got sick back in January. 
Uh, I went to the infirmary from there and my lawyer came to see me and said that they uh, they were offering me something and the offer that they were giving me would allow me to go home that day. So they put they they pretty much put my back up against the wall. They knew what was going on with me and they knew that I wanted to go home. Like the medical treatment that you get. Hmm? Is it over? Yeah, it's over. It's over. Okay. What did they offer you? It's over. I uh, I took probation. For some bullshit that you did well. For some for some bullshit that wasn't even wow. technically it wasn't even escape because I was never handcuffed to the bed. I was never shackled to the bed or anything like that. Um, I never, when you look at the footage from the hospital, I never ran. I wasn't chased or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't flee and elude anything. Um, but it's the, the conditions are so bad over there. They're going to offer you something first anyway, just to get the conviction, knowing that you want to get out of there. That's sad. That is you know? sad. And now you got to think about the guys that are over there that have court dates that had a court date within the last week or have court dates within the upcoming weeks that yeah. are not even going to go. It has ceased. All court has ceased. No activity in or out of the courthouse. Everybody who had cases are just frozen. It's Absolutely. like, you know, when you, when you, you actually lose your rights. Somebody's asking, do you have kids? Yes. He has, he, he has said his daughter um, is the age of his fellow convicts. So yeah, 18, 19 years old. Absolutely. <laughs> when he was in. So he was in. Now you can say you was in. Hey, is that that wasn't your first arrest though? No, absolutely not. I feel about that too if you've been in before. I could <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a clear indication. Uh I've been on the inside. <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, I'm 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 I can say I'm a convicted fella. Good but... morning, Chris Walker. Sorry. That's that's oh. my baby face assassin. That's no my Vegas connect. Hey, Chris, out there. That dude, man, he, he is a wonderful guy. Whenever I go to Vegas, I don't have to worry about nothing. That's my dude. We call him the baby face assassin because he looks like he's 12 <laughs> and he's really like old as fuck. Uh, uh, what, what do you have going on right now, Nikki? Well, as you know, everything is frozen, so nobody has anything. <laughs> this is it, nigga. This is it. We got this. No, I, I got some stuff I'm doing. I won't say here because I'm saying, you know, stuff that might affect that. Like, and I, I like to pretend to care. He said, can you smoke and drive while on probation? Well, probably not. So he's just sitting in the car. A car doesn't appear to be moving. It looks like the people around him are moving. Yeah, it, no, I'm not moving. Yeah, he's just sitting outside smoking. I'm not moving. House. You can't smoke inside nowhere in like, America. What are, you, what are you, a probation officer or something? A cop? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who the hell are you? He might be. He thinking about you, nigga. <laughs> he trying to help help you. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm old enough. I, 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 Eric, so let's talk about the fact that you are on probation and smoking weed. Is that like, do you have a medical marijuana? Absolutely, thing? absolutely. <laughs> and the fact, the fact that um, marijuana is technically legal now is decriminalized. It's not. Yeah, it's, well, decriminalized. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, my charges, my charges aren't drug charges, so you don't have to worry. If, if the question is getting to, am I getting your analysis or not, then no. You don't have to do that? No. Oh, so you only take urine when you have drug charges? When you, when you have charges that are relevant to drugs, then yeah, you you have to give, give a, a urine sample. Like violence. <laughs> you know, domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying fight getting in the fights with my baby mama granddaddy and shit <laughs> so you know i didn't know that they call all of that shit domestic yeah anytime you fight somebody you know it's domestic yeah so. and it's bullshit you know so i am um i am not a advocate of our american criminal justice system and i will say that i'm not into advocating for criminal activity, but I'm not necessarily like weed. 
that. I, I'm not offended by that. So I would say oh, that a lot of the charges that we have, oh, Dr. Lavelle Long, I'm sorry. You remember Lavelle, right? He did the, the gigs. He did the play when I was the 10 month. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To, to change the character, Big G, you know G, because mm -hmm. y'all and Wyatt together. So Lavelle did a play while he was in. So you guys have some some uh, similarities. He, him and his Sally was in there and they was all creating shit. And they was like, oh, I got this idea. why don't we make a go-go adaptation of The Wizard of Oz and call it The Kids? And uh, that was while he was in. So he got so that, out. So he came up with that while he was like, okay. Yeah, he came up with that, him and his, in, in, on the bump, you know? I don't know if they was writing and telling each other stories and sharing their lifelong dreams. Well, I mean, I mean, this is the thing. This is the thing. When when you have a cellmate. Can I finish telling uh, my story now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Because cause I'm going to get to the part where I went. <laughs> <laughs> They came up with the gears while incarcerated. And when he came home, he continued to pursue it. He went to one playwright, then another, until he found somebody who would help him bring that shit alive. And when I tell you, I am so impressed with this guy, his tenacity and his drive. Like, I will always love who he is as a person, because he's a good guy, and as a creator, because he's the bomb. Like he is so innovative in his his creative, like uh, he he just keeps coming up with shit, right? Constant. Mm -hmm. And um, he came up with the concept to do the gigs. We sold out. I bet him, because the thing was so electrifying. We sold out. We were the first ever stage play in any MGM theaters, live stage play, first ever in at the one here at National Harbor, and. Uh, sold out 3,000 seats first showing. Wow. And I killed Tim Ma. So Big G was supposed to be the Tim man, right? And he, for whatever reason, didn't do it, couldn't do it. So Lavelle was like, I got something for you, Nikki Moore. And he made the Tim Ma a woman. I mean, the Tim man a woman. I named her Tim Ma. And the rest is history. I don't know who the fuck you got in that role, Lavelle, but that bitch ain't me, so it's not going to Congratulations. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it again. And there's only one Tim Ma, and that's me. I brought that bitch to life. I still got people walking up to me, Tim Ma! <laughs> we had so much fun. That was the bomb. I can't wait to do it again. I wish I could have made it. That's it was correct. last year, right? It was at MGM, National Harbor. Last year? Yeah, last year. Right. Wow. Um, I think it was August. I believe it was August, okay. uh, October. I can't remember, but it was good. It was you got good. any? You, like, you don't have a like a, a show being developed or anything? I have several shows being developed. In fact, we got one that we, we've been working on for over a year, and hopefully we close. But I don't know. I can't really talk about it because it's not. Right. Ready. But um, you know, I got some shit going. Right. We, all of the shows we had doing have been canceled, but uh, we are now working on this um, uh, God, virtual, virtual comedy festival. Imagine that. Virtual. Oh. Our world has changed. Yeah, you better not get nobody. You better not get nobody. I'm sorry. I got a little ADD. You talk, I'm talking about the 10-mile because I'm here. And that's my role. I don't care what else happens. There's so, only one ten ma, and that's me. Is, is it traveling now? What? The, the, the play? No, no. We only did that one production, and they're getting ready to do it again. Um, I got to find out when, but yeah, no. And right now, you know, nothing's happening. All of the shows are frozen. The DC Comedy Festival is happening in uh, April. Um, it was. It was uh, April 6th through 11, all over the city, year three. Now, this has really put a hamper on everything. It's it, it, it stopped a lot of things. Like, no. it's, this is this is more serious than what we probably think. Clearly. Like, there's 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 a there's a lot of there's a lot of money being lost. Um, for the, for for them to shut down the NBA. 
you know how how much money they've lost. I didn't just the NBA, uh, March Madness. Um, yeah, I'm just also, saying, like uh, that that uh, alone. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's it, it, this may be more serious than what we probably think. You know, of course, we're going to joke it off. Or, and, and, and think. Yeah, I do. Well, I do. what's going on in these Corona streets? I'm actually working. I'm, Where? Work, I'm, de- I'm delivering food to people that can't get out. Good, good. That's it. That's it. Make it work. Yeah. So this, I got some Corona clips. I don't know what happened to Tony. I wanted him to talk about this. But since you're here. And you probably can identify with this. Uh, we we wanted to um, talk about some of the shit, right? That mm-hmm. happens so in in the world. And since we're quarantined, mm-hmm. hope somebody we like, but your ass is probably quarantined with this bitch right here. So you know she crazy if she understands this. Hold on, Chris. I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to bring you back in on the other side of this. All right. Hold on. <laughs> you know she crazy if she understands this. <laughs> I know somebody that could say that shit right now. Like, just by seeing it. That's right. I don't give a fuck what a bitch got to say about Wait, I think part of it's cut off. I, I, I did. I saw it. When I saw it, I could totally identify with it. Hold on. That's not what we want to do. I could totally identify with it. I don't right. give a fuck what this got to say about me. I know what the fuck I do and what the fuck I don't do. <laughs> 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 All in, in uh, alphabet. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, this- I know a few. Corona, my favorite Corona video, like we, you know, black people will break the internet with stuff. So we do some of the craziest stuff and some of the craziest things that I have seen out here are the uh, like memes and social clips and stuff that people are coming up with. This has got to be my all time favorite. Have you seen this one? It ain't come up yet. Virus, you are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Can't see it, Nick. No, it ain't moving. You can't see it. Because of coronavirus, you are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you a quarantine with your wife? I can hear it. Let me take you out and see if you can see it. Can you see it now? I don't know why, Chris. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the stream. Put you back in. Let's see. Can you see it now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this is a messy show. It's not for you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to swap with this guy. I'm just going to play it. Listen. Because of coronavirus, you are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you A, quarantine with your wife and child, or B, <laughs> It's not. It's not working. Okay. It's not working out, Chris. You are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you a quarantine with your wife and child, or b? What would you do, Chris? What was your choice? Okay, because of Corona, you're gonna be quarantined with. Uh, would you a quarantine with your wife and child or B? <laughs> I'm taking B. <laughs> I can't get stuck. I can't get stuck. All right, that's all I got. I'm getting ready to get off of here. We got like uh, 15 seconds left. And uh, thank you for coming in and talking to me. I miss you. I'm happy you got out. I'm home now. You won't. You don't have to worry about me going back in there. Okay. All right. See, <laughs> I'm big. You know, you're gonna get pulled over with that shit. You might want to. I ain't about to get pulled over. I'm gonna sit here, do what I do, and then finish on about my business. All right. Good. Good Thank luck. You. I'm gonna be in contact with you. I got some things going on. Okay. So I guess <laughs> post. Yeah, absolutely. That movie you did. Which one? 
Okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Okay. All so, right. Hit me. I will. I will. I will. I'll, um, I'm going to put my number in your inbox, okay? Okay. All right. All right let's talk. Bye, Chris. Bye-bye, baby. Okay, guys. That's it. Corona Clips. Take two. We'll try it again tomorrow. Hopefully, Tony Woods and Timmy will pop in and I can do it earlier. I got a little sidetracked today. I can hear that. Sidetrack today. Well, I'm back. Thanks. Out of here. On the counter, it's too early for this shit. Oh. Can I go? Can I go? Okay. You know, this is a messy show. Oh, yeah. Eddie Bryant, too, Bree. Thanks for popping in again. I'll see you tomorrow. Everybody's home. I want everybody to check in, so be ready. Bye.